Hello friend! Today the TechScrew team will show you how to easily make an audio switchable splitter box from 2 RCA to 3.5mm. This switch box will be useful for you if you want to use two sound sources in one system and easily switch between them. The switchable splitter box is also useful for blind tests. If you are interested in a switchable splitter box for headphone tests, then click on the I letter. There is a video on such a switch splitter box project. But today, let's start making two input to one output switchable boxes. As with all do-it-yourself projects, these two will require soldering iron and some tools that will make this process easier. From components you need to buy, plastic box for electronic project and where you're gonna put everything in. Such can be found in construction stores or Amazon and AliExpress. Links to all deals will be in the description. You also need four female RCA housing terminals. One 3.5mm socket with the possibility to install it in our box. One 6-pin on-on function toggle switch and some 2-core audio cable and one short cable with 3 cores. Let's start preparing. You first must unpack the plastic enclosure. Where we will install everything to understand how much space there is, we have to plan where you will drill the holes so that you can fasten all 4 RCA sockets. Drill holes with the appropriate size drill. The measure will RCA socket fit. If everything is okay, drill the remaining three holes. In addition, drill one hole in front panel for 3.5mm socket. Measure if the socket does not fit, thread the required hole diameter until the socket fits there. As the last hole, you will need to drill for the toggle switch. Of course, measure. Perfect, it fits. The next thing you will need to do is put all four RCA sockets in the newly drilled holes. Remember that the RCA must be set to black red and black red as this switch box will have two inputs. Then also install a 3.5mm socket at the front panel of the box. Take the audio cable and carefully cut the outer insulation or sheet of the cable so that the internal conductors or cores are not damaged. If there are more than two conductors in your cable, then twist them together so that only two conductors remain. That's exactly what we need measure the required length for the cable we need from the RCA to the toggle switch and cut it off. We are also preparing this end of the cable as before. In total you have to make the following. Five cables where one of them will have three cores. We solder the ends of all prepared cables so that it is easier to solder them to our socket, whose contacts we also solder. Then we solder the wires preparing for the RCA sockets. But it is important to remember that the RCA center pin is plus and the edge contact is crown or minus. The following came together. Four wires, each soldered to its RCA socket. Be sure to tighten the socket nuts after soldering, as they might be loose. Take the 3.5mm jack and use a multimeter to find out which contacts for this 3.5mm jack are left, right and ground. Within these contacts, take a wire that had three cores and thin together all three conductors, left, right and ground. Then all prepared wires must be soldered according to the existing scheme. Solder the wires coming from the 3.5mm socket to the middle contacts of the switch. Solder the left and right wires, because all ground wires on both 3.5mm and RCA will have to be soldered together without a switch. Only the plus or signal wires are soldered to the switch. As a result, you should get 5 cores or 1 ground core from each wire. Assemble our ground cores together and solder. It seems to me that this in the project will be the most difficult. To avoid short circuits in the future, take the grandmother's nail polish and cover all the contacts of the switch. Secure all 4 RCA sockets with super glue, so that they do not become loose during use. Also secure the 3.5mm socket with glue. It remains to put everything together and this 2 in to 1 out switchable splitter box will be complete once the toggle switch is screwed in and it remains to screw together the box itself. If you suspect that you have made a mistake, take the RCA cord and check it with multimeter. If everything is ok, congratulations, a switchable splitter box is made quickly and cheaply. Thank you for watching, as always. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to write them in comment section below. Bye.